Hello friends. In this session we are going to discuss about the sensitive ground fault detection. Uh, we know that uh, in finding and detection of the ground fault, if the uh, high impedance fault occur or the type of the fault, some of the faults are not able to be detected by normal ground fault detection means 51 or 51 in, uh, then or 50 and 50 in, then we need the sensitive ground fault to be very sensitive in the type of the fault which is occurring. In this series of uh, training, we will provide you almost 90 to 98% of whatever required for understanding sensitive ground fault and the, the procedure, the knowledge behind it, and also the sitting values required in a transmission line or in a sub-transmission line. And now let's understand that how many types of sensitive ground fault may be there and what's the knowledge behind of each one. We know that, that uh, according to any type of the fault that can be in forward or in reverse, for finding that we have two methods of uh, one is detecting the uh, forward direction and uh, that is or reverse direction that is by method of directional and another is that uh, whatever the fault is in behind our system or forward our system, our system will detect as a fault and it will may trip or it may pick up and we may operate or not according to our selection. But directional, uh, the, in a sensitive ground fault, we have directional uh, uh, sensitive ground fault detection methods. And uh, that is the uh, ANSI code is uh, 67 NS. And we know that is 67 is for all directional. And uh, 67 N is uh, for directional ground fault. And 61S in S is for directional uh, sensitive ground fault. Another is non-directional and the, the code you imagine. What should be the code? The first, it should be non-directional. So uh, it, sh it should have 51 in S. These are the type of the faults uh, can occur and the methods to detect them. For operation of directional uh, sensitive ground fault, we need the zero sequence voltage and zero sequence current, or instead of any of these two, we need zero sequence admittance or harmonics of uh, the, the, these two factors, or these two factors, or first and the third factor. As the zero sequence uh, voltage harmonic is low, and uh, the zero sequence, uh, har the harmonic of zero sequence admittance of the system is also uh, negligible in our system and during the fault. So mostly the harmonics of the zero sequence current are also used for direction determination. For determination of the non-directional uh, method and the operation of non-directional method, uh, we need any of uh, the, these factors of V0 or 3I0 or uh, zero sequence admittance of the system. For the well operation of directional uh, method, uh, mostly the zero sequence voltage and zero sequence uh, current together are used, or the zero sequence voltage with uh, the zero sequence admittance of the systems are used. But in non-directional, any of uh, these factors can work independently without presence of any of another factor. The zero sequence voltage can work independently only if we have zero sequence voltage or only we have three zero sequence uh, uh, current, uh, three zero sequence current of the system and or we have uh, a zero sequence admittance of the system. The system will work independently and uh, it can find a non-directional uh, fault. 